Hey there! Do you want to launch your coaching business but you have no idea where to start from? Probably the videos you've been watching before now have been telling you some high-tech things that you can't really relate to. If yes, then this is the video where I'm going to break it down break it down in bits and pieces for you on the exact steps you need to take to start your profitable coaching business even if you are certified <laughs> or not okay come with me let me take you on this valuable journey let's go hey there welcome back to my youtube channel it's so good to have you here so let's get straight to business how do you start a coaching business without the overwhelm without the confusion without the you know spending days and hours on social media watching several videos i promise you this video will take you through the exact steps the first step you want to take is to determine if you are in this journey for the money or for the transformation mm -hmm. I said it I know it's a business and you want to make money I know but if you're coaching oh my god I dare say you are a miracle worker as a coach because you move people tangibly from their pain to their heavens from their hell to their heavens from their pains to their pleasure so if you're coaching just to make ends meet you're going to be frustrated at the end of the day but if you're doing this because you deeply truly enjoy it when your clients get transformational results then tick tick you've got it that's your first one you've got it together if it's for the money i think you can go up this video now and go and search for other things on youtube yeah i release you go on go go bye oh you're still here okay that means that you want to learn the next step to start your coaching business successfully so once you've nailed your motivation then you want to niche down on the one message you want to be known for. If I've learned anything in my almost seven years of practice as a coach, it is the fact that a lot of new coaches are multi-potentialites. Mm -hmm. They, are, I call them multi-gifted, multi-talented. You know, they, I mean, they are, they're just so incredible people, amazing balls of awesomeness i know however if you want to start your coaching business and do it profitably darling you need to niche down <laughs> yes you need to choose one out of the many beautiful uh, um, solutions that you can possibly come up with and choose one by the way i have a full video tutorial on how to niche down as a coach i'll put the link below this video it's short but it tells you directly all the steps you need to follow to niche down on your message okay so niche down on one message that way you are able to build expertise very quickly you are a, you are seen as a go-to person in that niche it's you becoming a, a small fish in a big pond it's also what we call the blue ocean strategy right it also gives you an edge at that level when you're trying when you're just starting out later on you can add more things you can go wide but at the very beginning just pick one of your super messages and shine the light on that one okay the next thing is for you to niche down on the category of people that you want to help 
it's possible you are into health coaching or you are into dieting or you are into business structure you are into helping teachers to launch their businesses all of i mean whatever you are into you need to have a class of people a specific category of people that you want to help so it's not enough to have one message i also recommend you have one audience this way your custom your, your, your follower to client conversion rate it goes up because people who follow you would be people who are likely to be your customers because you have one message for one audience the same way with my channel i focus heavily on coaches so most likely you are a coach for you to be watching this video and so the likelihood of you buying from me is higher than if i was just targeting every kind of business and i say oh how to start your business come on now <laughs> likely you will not buy from me as a coach right the the first step is for you to carry out a market survey to validate your solution and the people yes put out questions get people to describe their pain points for you in their language get them to tell you if they are willing to pay for the solution get them to tell you how much they are even willing to spend to get the solution they are looking for this way you know if to move forward with this niche and audience or if to reverse and go and restart your journey again okay this stage is very critical before you go all over you know wasting time wasting resources wasting energy and all of that in starting out as a coach the next step is for you to build your audience on the right platform with the right content this is like a three in one kind of step because first you must build your audience i mean you are deliberately building a a, a a team of people who your message will serve who your message is meant for however you're doing it on the right platform if your ideal clients are professionals please go on linkedin and build a penthouse you know on that channel if your clients are you know people who are creatives visuals and everything go on go to instagram or TikTok, right so you want to be where your ideal clients are my ideal client literally sleep and wake up on youtube <laughs> i mean they come to youtube first for questions for ideas for answers they go on google they've gone to go to google and they select image to see images or videos to see i mean that's the first point of information it's google and that's why i chose to build my own penthouse on youtube so even though i have other platforms that are active like my linkedin my facebook and my instagram especially I still share my videos to those channels to drive traffic back to my YouTube channel. Do you understand that? So you want to be clear on the platform. Where are your ideal clients hanging out? And do this with the right content. Yes. So don't go about sharing content that has no relevance to your niche or to your core message or your core pillars as a thought leader rather curate content that your ideal clients will be looking for what they are searching for what they are looking for answers to that is what you should build your content around all right the common mistakes answers to faqs uh, tips um, limiting beliefs and all of that around your own core message all right then the last step here is for you to make the invitation when you've built your audience let's say for three six months 
It depends on how much traction you are able to gather or the platform you are using or your content creation strategy, right? Then begin to make the invitation. Don't be afraid of selling. Have a call to action on your post. Ask them to book a call with you, okay? And from there, you grow. And of course, finally, you need to hire a coach. So I have this interesting auntie who says, a coach without a coach is a cockroach. <laughs> I'm telling you, she says that all the time. She said, even your coach has a coach or even your coach must have a coach or else you should be wary. Okay, you should be, you should, you should be careful. So you as a new coach, you need to have a coach and it will be my pleasure to coach you to build a successful coaching business. Get started now by watching my free intensive masterclass. The link will be below. The masterclass is on how to build a seven figure coaching business from scratch, okay? What are the important steps to take? I go deeper into the things um, you know, I, I shared in this video. I share common mistakes and how to avoid them. I share on the best marketing strategies to deploy as a new coach and so much more. The link to this masterclass will be right below this video. You don't even need to enter your details. Just go ahead, click the link and then bam you land on the video page okay good thank you for watching this video if it had made sense to you go ahead hit the like button subscribe and turn on notification but more importantly share with a friend who you know needs to get their coaching business off the wannabe block <laughs> all right and i'd love to also read from you Leave me a comment, send me an email, tami at tami at gbewa.com. I love you. Bye.